गए दे 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 दे। And make your way, Johan. We've just found her. She's static on the ground, lying here. Ah, oh, what a joy! Well done. Isn't that fantastic, everyone? There she is. Shadow. Fast asleep. I think it's shadow. Is it? Yes, she's got suckle marks. She's still got suckle marks, everyone. Yeah, just come to Gary Main Zoe's Junction and head west and you'll get us visual just north of the road. So she's still got suckle marks, everybody. I don't believe she's lost those cubs. Where they are, I couldn't begin to tell you. It might be in this very termite mound next to which I'm sparked. Well, she looks very comfortable, doesn't she? Dave, can I ask you to super zoom in on the spots just below her nose? Oh, she's supposed to have, the shadow has a 3-4 spot pattern. Is that as close in as we can get? Ah, uh -huh, there we go. So she should have four spots there, which unfortunately is a bit of grass, but it looks like four spots on the right. Can you see them there, everybody? Often people find it difficult to understand what I'm talking about until you get a close-up like that. Just behind the grass and the sort of a moving vegetation, you can see one, two, three, just above that, and then just behind that, another one, four spots. Ah, this is wonderful. What a stroke of luck. I suspect she was lying right here when we drove past earlier. Sorry, Rebecca, the game drive radio went again. You'll have to give me Tony's question, which I've clean forgotten on the excitement of seeing this leopard. Ah, the biggest omnivore in Africa, Tony. I guess the biggest omnivore in Africa would be the chimpanzee, I suppose. I think a big adult chimpanzee probably weighs... Any idea what it weighs? Probably about the same as... Maybe a bit heavier than a human, maybe about 120 kilos. So that's probably what it, the biggest omnivore in Africa would be. Although, I mean, a big bushbuck probably weighs a similar amount. A bush, uh, not bushbuck, bush pig. A bush pig is very omnivorous. They're very kindly found for us by the chap from Elephant Plains, who unfortunately for him is not allowed to drive in here. C'est la vie. Just before everyone else gets here, I want to move us slightly so that we can... Well, we can just... We don't need to move around a little bit later. I'm just going to turn around so that I can look you in the eye every so often. If that works for you, Dov. She's up. Is that okay, Dave? Yeah. Sorry, let me just do this. Now, we're going to be joined by another school, everyone, in about 10 minutes. And what a joy they're going to have when they see this leopardess. Hopefully, she won't disappear across the boundary while we're sitting. Look at how regal she looks. Oh, she's magnificent. Oh, 
This is just wonderful. I think we'll sit here for a long time if everyone doesn't mind. Isn't that perfect? What a perfect shot that is. Last station, who are you calling? Yeah, affirmative. She's just in front of me, to the right-hand side. Yeah, she's moving. Oh, don't move too far, please. Lovely shadow, don't go too far. Oh, here we go. Right, hello. This is Altman and Miss Kennedy's class here at Glenwood Elementary School, Virginia Beach, Virginia. We've just found a leopard and we're watching her disappear through the bushes here. She may well move now south to where we can't see her anymore. So I'm just going to stop here and let you get a good view of her quickly. There she goes, just in case we don't see her again. Isn't that lovely? My favorite cat of Africa, that one. Look at her. Yeah, she looks like she's going to go across the boundary. She's lifting her tail like that to show the birds that see her that she's not a threat to them. They'll start shouting at her and alarming. Let me just get into a position where we can see her and then we'll stop. I'm afraid that's going to be it, everyone. There she goes. Unfortunately, we can't go any further. We can't follow her. Or with, if she moves along that particular line, we can, but I think she's going to go south. Yep, that's south, the direction she's going in. Oh, that's lovely. Kids at Glenwood, you are so lucky that that is the very first African animal you saw. A truly special 